Hello everyone, this is Adam of TechnologyOrDie.com. I want to talk to you today about how to take a screenshot of a Cisco 8800 or 7800 series IP phone. To get started, there are a few things we need to verify in Communications Manager. First, go to Device, find the phone that you want to take the screenshot of. Open the phone and go down or Control F to find the web access option. You want to ensure that this is enabled. Ideally, you do this uh, globally in an enterprise settings or in a common co phone uh, configuration profile. Next, go to the user of which is uh, assigned to that phone. In this case, George Washington is our user. Uh, and you're going to want to scroll down just a bit and you're going to want to look for device information in controlled devices. In this case, you'll want to uh, ensure that that device is in fact linked to the user uh, in this location. If not, you can go into device association and search for the device uh, in that way. These are really the only two prerequisites. Next, navigate to the phone via a web browser. As you can see here, uh, the URL is just the IP address of the phone, slash CGI, slash screenshot. Uh, the case, this is case sensitive, so the case of the S is capitalized in the screenshot uh, part of the URL there. Once you're there, you will be prompted to log in. We're going to type in George Washington's name here. And we're going to then put in the password and hit login. As you can see, the screenshot is then returned to us. Uh, if you want to save the screenshot, simply right click and save the image as, uh, or of course you can add the image to photos and so on and so forth. Hopefully you have found this uh, helpful. If you do need further assistance getting this functionality to work, you can go to technologyordie.com and look for the taking a screenshot on an 8800 series Cisco phone. Uh, look for that blog entry and it does detail out uh, all of the details as well as uh, include some troubleshooting steps that uh, you might find helpful. As always, thank you and be sure to subscribe because we'll have more tutorials coming in the future.